Well, hundreds of pieces of art all done by kids from Anderson County will be on display right now at the Anderson County Art Center, and it's all part of a special Youth Art Month exhibit. Fox Carolina's Zach Perlutsky introduces us to some of these artists behind the work. I've seen a couple little girls walk up and just like be in awe and it's just it feels so good to be like an inspiration I guess to other people. Art started as just a class for Kaylee Cross. It's okay to make mistakes. But it's turned into a passion. And it's okay to think outside the box and do weird things and like, you know, be creative. The 11th grader at TL Hanna is now thinking of going into a career in photography. Creating new things, it just, it's so much fun. Cross isn't the only student who has found a passion and possible career through art class. It's cool to be able to express yourself in a physical sense. TL Hanna senior Riley Shearer says creating art is when she's most comfortable. As long as you're having fun and doing what you like, then it doesn't really matter what it turns into. Helping students find their confidence and ability is one of the favorite parts of the job for TL Hanna visual arts teacher Kathy Moore. They can do something they didn't think they could do. They were better at something that they uh, didn't think they could get better at. There are around 500 pieces of art from K through 12 students throughout Anderson County in this exhibit. And when it does end, a handful of those works of art will go on extended display at some businesses and colleges throughout the county. One of those places is at Tri-County Tech's Anderson campus. I think it helps to make a well-rounded student. Teachers select 10 pieces of work from every public and private school in the county, plus homeschool associations to be shown. There are kids that, um, you know, they enjoy art and they enjoy painting and drawing and things like that, but then to be able to have it on display and not just at their home is a really big deal. In Anderson, Zach Prelutsky, Fox Carolina News. Well, the exhibit runs through March 3rd and is open to the public Tuesday through Friday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m.